2013. It's a collection agency for the private Federal Reserve on record. Congress has had hearings and admitted that. And not one red cent of the money you pay goes to the infrastructure. It all goes to interest to foreign banks. Now they've gone to a new level, $14 trillion in seven months, $14 plus trillion, not counting the $787 million stimulus package, where they said it'll all be transparent. Now they say none of it's transparent. Ha-ha! And if you don't like it, you're a terrorist. We're not going to allow you to own guns. Now, you thought the DHS report was bad. Now they have a bill citing those reports saying you're not going to be able to own a gun, veterans. Remember Bill Clinton? First thing he did when uh, uh, he was about to leave office was say that hundreds of thousands of vets couldn't own guns that didn't even have criminal records. And everybody, I mean, literally, everybody I know, I know former, you know, uh, guys that own businesses here in town who were famous UT football players. And, you know, they, and I'll be at a, an event or something, they'll come up and go, Alex, I don't have any criminal record, and I can't buy a gun now. Because they say something in my military record. And uh, one of the guys here in the office, no criminal record, um, tried to go buy a gun last night, and they just said no. <laughs> and if you don't like it, a SWAT team will drive by. You know, that's what the paramilitary police are about. That's what making you take your shoes off and go through body scanners and now brain scanners. That's back in the news. MRIs. What's next? Well, they want to take blood and urine. They have an executive order to do it. Uh, when you get the DMV, but the illegals are all exempt. Everybody for 36 years at birth has blood taken for a DNA database, which they now admit is for eugenics. I told you that for years. Now it's mainstream news. The Human Genome Project, Cold Springs Harbor. Just search engine Cold Springs Harbor. Don't believe me. It'll be the birthplace of eugenics. What what Hitler quoted as his founding place. It's all eugenics. And I know I'm ranting here. It's And, I, and, I, and I'm going to go to um, Wilson, Mike, George, Steve, and Josh. Because I know you've been holding. I said I'd have open phones today, and then this came up. Uh, but, uh, J Joyce, I know you'll be covering this on your show tomorrow in the morning. And then I want to have an update uh, from you on this as it develops. We're on the KSDK St. Louis NBC5 channel. We don't see anything there yet about this. Their editors might, you know, not let them run into They may say she's with Al-Qaeda or something before they do. But uh, it is Missouri where they say Ron Paul's a terrorist and libertarian bumper stickers are terrorism. And we're on in Missouri, they announce, if you criticize Obama, you'll be arrested. By the way, new listeners don't believe me. Uh, go to YouTube and type in uh, critic, uh, Missouri... Uh, Missourians, uh, Missourians may be arrested for criticizing Obama, and you'll see. And the news is with a straight face. You know, you know, Joyce, Missouri's a great place. The uh, show me state, hardworking, great, salt of the earth people. A lot of the folks from Missouri are the ones that founded Texas. Uh, they were from Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky, places like that, Alabama. What has happened to Missouri? Or is it there's there's so many patriots there? Big Brother's really trying to crack down. I mean, why do we see so? I mean, I know this is going on everywhere. Texas is real bad, too. So is Illinois. Every state's bad. But, I mean, what is it about Missouri that they just really hate patriots? Well, I think that it's the heartland area where if they can make the heartland look bad, they can make anybody look bad. I mean, Texas has got a reputation, but Missouri doesn't. So now all of these patriots that are springing up Missouri, and let me tell you, there's a lot of them that live in the Lake of the Ozarks or back in the Ozark Mountains and don't want anybody to even know where they live. I think it's a concern for them. So the state of Missouri is attempting to do everything they can to control these people, and they use the force and the intimidation. So that's what we're seeing. And I just appreciate, I have to tell you how much I appreciate Jim Percy, because Jim Percy was up at 4 o'clock this morning there on the phone with, with uh, Don Welch. If she needed him any time of the day or night, he has been there for her. I want to give Jim Percy credit, because when Don went into the court he was right there with her on a cell phone. And then the judge called her to the bench, and he was telling her what to do also. Now, this is not a situation where Jim encouraged her to do anything different. This is a situation where she was already doing this. She was already in trouble uh, with the mortgage because of, of them saying that it wasn't paid off. Yeah, she and, decided and to make her stand, so folks tried to come to her aid. And uh, absolutely. Well, Joyce, uh, as this unfolds, well, I guess, you know, they're going to, charge her with trespassing for being in her house. They don't just take your house now in America when the armed police come uh, with their uh, with their Humvees. That I guess they now charge you. and it, it, it's, it, it's just a real travesty. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll track this as it develops, Joyce, and we'll t uh, have you pop back in and Jim tomorrow if you can do it. Thank you so much, Joyce. Thank you so much, Alex. You bet. All right, we just spent an hour and eight minutes on that. 
but it, it's it's so important because this isn't where you know I, I'm just hearing this from afar. I've been looking at this, and I've been experiencing this in Austin, and I've had it happen to me where I'm paying the house payment, and then you get a lawsuit, uh, uh, you know, service. And they say you didn't pay your escrow, and then you go and then you go. Well, here's all the documents, Bank of America. You send it registered, and they keep the suit going, and you have to sue them. I had to pay to have a suit filed, counter suit, so defend myself, and and then they kept going with the case. No, we're taking your house. So I said, okay, I'll go ahead and sue you. And man, they they dropped it. Oh, we found your escrow money. See, they're testing. Do I have a slave? Do I have a schmuck? Do I have somebody I can feed on? And, you know, I understand the sheriffs get put in a bad position where lawful mortgages, people haven't paid, whatever. It's private property, the most sacred thing in this country. If you don't have private property, you have nothing. So, you know, the police are trained to do this. But it's different when you know that they've sucked $14.8 trillion out. That is five-plus trillion more, according to Bloomberg, than they need to pay off all mortgages. And I keep making that point. You know, we go on to, uh, to the Smart Growth Conferences, North American Union, NAFTA Highway Conferences. We read their documents, and they talk about You know, they come into studies, and they go, we got $100 bucks for your town if you turn all the toll roads, all, all the roads into toll roads, and we're going to do this for your state and that. We have unlimited money. You know why the banks are flushing money and nobody else is? They've cut liquidity off of the public. They've deindustrialized us. They're bragging. It's all planned. They, they, in the IMF and World Bank, International Bank of Settlement documents. I wrote a book about it in 2002, Descent into Tyranny. I've had BBC reporters on about it. We've had economists on. We've had, uh, you know, the guy that wrote uh, Economic Hitman, John Perkins, who worked for him. It's on record that they fraudulently create a debtor system where there's more debt than there is real currency and real assets. They buy up all the real assets with it and then leave us holding the bag. It's like musical chairs. They've all got a chair. They make sure the people don't. And... It's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse until we stand up and say no. Okay, look, I'm just going to take calls now for the next hour. And then very important news is coming up on the government-run child kidnapping rings because this new Obama uh, announcement, they're going to release some new photos. We'll tell you what's really behind that. And, and, and we've been right about this in the past. We'll tell you what's really going on and give you the full scope of what we know. And it's so horrible. It's hard to believe. Also, the attacks on free speech and the DHS reports to be used to then deny no judge, no jury, no arrest. I, I told you, and Homeland Security said this, 